Alright guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you another really awesome card trick. And this card trick is actually a really easy one. And it uses the key card method. I don't know if you have heard of it. And if you have, I'll see if you can figure it out before watching the tutorial. And if you did, make sure to tell me. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So to solve this trick, I'm going to have my spectator to give the deck a few shuffles before I start. And my spectator can go ahead and do these shuffles. And now, after they're happy about that the cards are thoroughly mixed, I'm going to have them select any card they wish to from the center. So let's say they just pick one near the top. Let's say it's this one over here. So just try our best to remember the card. And all I'm going to do is to put your card right in the center and give it a few cuts just like this. Now I'm going to try and read your mind through the camera. And I'm going to see which one's your card. All right. It might take a bit of time, but just bear with me for now. All right. I have a feeling that it might be this one over here. Or it might be this one. So these two cards, which one are you going to pick? So let's say my spectator went for this one. So we're going to remove the card. And there we go. I found your card, the six of diamonds. All right, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed that performance. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So to solve the trick, you're going to have your spectator to shuffle the deck, just like this. And now what you're going to do is to peek at the top card. So there are a few ways you can do it. So one way is to peek at the bottom card and then shuffle that card right to the top. And now I have the seven of hearts on the top of the deck. And the other way you can do it is to do the dribble, just like this. And when you're right at the last card, bend it a little bit just like this and you have peeked at that card and we got the ace of hearts so after you have the information of the top card we got the ace of hearts now you're going to instruct your spectator to touch any card they wish to while you are spreading out the deck and let's say they just touch this one over here so you're going to split the deck like this with the card that they selected on the spread you're going to twist your wrist to show them their selected card. In this case, we've got the Ace of Spades, so it's quite easy to remember. Now, while they're having a look at the card, you're going to do a similar move with the thumb cut, which looks like this. But of course, you're not going to do a cut. All you're doing is wrap the packets like this so that your thumb can actually split the deck and open a gap just like this. Now what you're going to do is to pretend you're placing this chunk of cards and placing them in the center. So this is what would look like. But in reality, what you're doing is grabbing hold of the bottom and also the top card. So one of them is the selection and the top card is going to be the card that you remembered. So just hold those two cards tight and throw everything into the gap except for those two cards. So you're going to slide everything except for those two cards. And now those two cards are now stick together. And after you have thrown this chunk of cards into it, put these two cards into the center and close your gap. After that, you can do as many cuts as you wish to or what you can do is the key card shuffle, which you're shuffling the top few cards and then a chunk of cards and then another few cards. Just like this, that's something extra if you want to do. You can spread through the deck to yourself and obviously you're not going to spread out to them, but you're going to spread out the cards to yourself. So you're going to do this. And what you're going to do is look for your key card. So my key card was the Ace of Hearts. And at the same time you're looking for that, 
just pick out a random card and I'll jog it like this. Now, you're going to go through the deck and look for a key card. In this case, it's right here. We've got the Ace of Hearts. And the card below it is going to be their selection. So I'll jog that card as well. So between these two cards, you're going to pretend you're struggling to know which one is theirs. So strip out those two cards and let them pick it. Now, you're going to use the Magician Force to force them to pick this card over here. So it seems like they have a free choice to choose either cards, but if they choose this one, you're going to leave it on the table and reveal that this is the card that they selected. But if they choose the random card, you're going to say that you're going to remove this card and keep the card that they didn't choose and reveal that it is their selection. So this trick should be quite simple for you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you do, subscribe to my channel over here if you haven't already yet. I have loads of card tricks tutorial on my channel, so feel free to check them out. If you don't know which card trick to learn, I would suggest you guys to have a look at this video because it's also another easy card trick. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye.